What do you think of Mandy? I loved it. Yeah. The very first saw it, I was kind of confused. And I remember, I, I think I saw it four times in theaters when I lived in New York. <laughs> loved it. I don't know why. I just have the obsession of like needing to rewatch things and like look at things from a new view. Like as I've gotten older, Roseanne has only gotten better. Got it. Which is like a dumb comparison to the Pamos Cosmatos Mandy thing. But like, it's just like the way you perceive no, things. Mandy and Roseanne are like on the same. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Roseanne's much more high art. But the, uh, yeah. uh, no, I like. Uh, it's just it's interesting because you, I feel like every month, every year that you fucking live, you perceive things differently. So I just I rewatch shit not anymore. so yeah. so much. Not if your brain is crystallized. It's getting the fucking place, man. I'm telling you, you I, it's it's for real. Yeah, it's it's crazy. In your thirties, I forgot. I mean, like, there's like a I think like by the time you're like thirty five, hmm. your brain starts to like have that crystallization of like mm. you like the crafts that you have curated through this time of your life have solidified and you are like that that's going to be the thing that you can like teach people and you become more of that teacher so there's not much time left so i have to <laughs> i have to get this special out because it's the last chance i have for a unique brain and i'm sure that like there's yeah. like obviously like i don't know there's exceptions to the rule but definitely anticipate me in 30 well, it's like, i mean if you look at anything though like i mean like there's still great people that do great things but the things that are pivotal that you remember are the things that whenever they were younger yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Which is fine. You're human. What the fuck? You can't stay on top forever. You can't be mm -hmm. this like fucking innovative person. I think as like social media person people, I think that you develop a very narcissistic mindset to think that like anything you do is relevant to yeah be put out there yeah when it's not like it's yeah. just like there's gonna be a day where people just do not give a fuck about you mm -hmm. and I think that's just like something that like you have to accept in any facet except Mr. Beast everyone must know and needs to know what Jimmy is doing. There's going to be somebody who comes along that's like younger, who does something there where they're just like, it's not going to be instantaneous, but I do think there will be like a new Mr. Beast. Yeah. But the thing too is like when the new Mr. Beast comes along, there's going to be, I think like a, a small group of them. And I think like that's going to, it's going to be like a multi, like a multiplier. Like I think like when the new Mr. Beast comes along, it's going to be like a success and a growth, but it's going to be like a group of people. Or whatever. I don't know if they'll be friends or not. I just expect that, like, it's not just going to be a singular entity anymore. Because, like, back in the day, it was like a PewDiePie. But then PewDiePie bred, like, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, all these kind of people. And then from there, like, you look at, like, the commentary community of, like, Ethan Klein. And then it was, like, all these fucking people now to, like, all these other people. All these fucking people now. <laughs> or, like, yeah, I mean, like, even you guys or whatever, like, being able to find that niche in there. But, like, I think in terms of, like, this, like, success and, like, you see people that are, like, emulating this Mr. B style where they, like, they yell every single thing they say and, like, yeah. text on screen or whatever. And yeah, yeah, big yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah. And it's, like, obviously this is them just mimicking him. But I think when something new comes along and it's, like, this new breath of fresh air of, like, how are they doing this or, like, this kind of, like, bigger than life thing it will happen because yep. people have grown up watching him yeah but i think that when it happens it's going to be more normalized and like yeah it just it's it, it's with everything it's just like people see things they take from it they evolve it or whatever i, I sort of feel like that's happening on twitch a little bit like with kai and i show speed i mean those guys their growth has been fucking insane yeah so crazy I mean, why this, does that it, happen with streaming? It's disgusting to see. I honestly, like... <laughs> why? I'm glad this is the private episode because I just, like... The majority of, like, the, the, well, fan, I feel, the oh, fandoms oh. around Twitch and stuff, it's so fucking, like, parasitic, and it's, like, so, like... I don't know. It's just something where it's, like, people are being rewarded for nothing, in a way. I, I, I want to differentiate Kai, though, because I feel like Kai, apart from, like, just being a streamer, I feel like he's actually... He wants to make music, and he does make music, and I do think it's cool that he's, like leveraging what he has into like a craft like he's you can leverage whatever the fuck you want what i'm saying is like the majority of the su success though comes from people's perceptions of like weird parasocial relationships sure. online between streamer and this yeah and like the kind of like dynamics they have for yeah. literally nothing in return yeah and that isn't to say that like i mean i don't know i'm not that kind of person to be like what they're doing is worthless but at the end of the day it's like i just don't like the thing of like people's the entire system is based around like people's obsession with you sure or something yeah 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 that's yeah. fair so i don't know there's it that kind of people are obsessed with them yeah, yeah i yeah. would say that's a appropriate but, 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 i think but, a lot of people that like take time to to 
to actively put a chat into a wall of something that will never be seen <laughs> is fucking psychotic. <laughs> And it's like irrational and it's like weird because the thing is like people wanting to get your attention and stuff and it's like yeah, disgusting yeah. and people f- throwing money at you. Yeah. Like literally donating. Ha ha, that was so funny. And they're just like, and they don't even acknowledge it. Yeah. And they don't care. Yeah. It's so odd. Like I'm just like, it's so <laughs> fucking strange. Yeah. And I show speed. He's so young and like he has this kind of attention and stuff like that too. And it's like, I feel like with speed, with speed to me, just as, and, you know any speed fan probably call me a boomer for this but i feel like from a distance speed was willing to do whatever to like be funny and i feel like he's not the first person to do this but i feel with twitch especially there are people that have like gone into that weird territory where it's almost like they're it's like almost like humiliation tactics to like garnish your attention so it's like don't if you donate money and you kind of like encourage the stream i will do something that's either like very bizarre or fucking like personally embarrassing yeah, to I don't me ever, i don't ever think it's malicious like no, I, no, I, no, I'm, no. I'm not coming at it from a place where like i think that they're actively knowing that like what they're doing but i just think it's like it's with anything that's like new and cool i just don't think that that thing has longevity i guess is the big thing i would have thought with aiden like he would have got out of there after the whole gambling thing but like he's fine what i think do you mean got out of there just like I, I, I kind of thought maybe there's like a couple year period here where it's like young teenage hype beasts like really relate to him, and then they grow up a few years later and they're like, ah, yeah, I used to watch Aiden, and then like their attention for him just kind of. Yeah, but the thing about Aiden though, from what I've seen in his streams, and I did, I, I included him in that Andrew Tate video mm-hmm. with like Nico and stuff, and it was because he's very like, I don't know, from what I've seen, a lot of his streams is he just like piggybacks sure. on a lot of people. Yeah. And stuff. And he like just kind of like forcibly includes himself into these things. Yeah. And stuff because he has the clout to or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then those people become bigger than him. But then it's still just like one of these things where he just like has that past experience. So he's able to just kind of like force his way into things while doing like nothing. Yeah. While doing nothing. Yeah. At the end of the day, streaming for the most part, I mean, it's not for the most part, it is entirely about like who you are as a person. It's not sure, but I think there's a lot of streamers like Germa, I think it's somebody who has like a like a really great personality, very funny and witty and stuff, and they do things. And like, I'm not going to be a person who's sitting there and being like, oh, streaming is just like watching people play. No, video games. but it, it's but, a performance in live time. But I think there is like, it's inherently like a parasocial relationship in real yeah. time with your fans. And that's just like inevitable because there's like YouTubers who have that. Like I look at Markiplier fans and I'm like, you like, did you ever, I love that fucking, that video. Oh my God. It's so funny. The Markiplier video of the kid like hugging him in the mall and he's like rubbing his face on him and stuff. Have you seen that? No. no. It's so funny. Wait, and Markiplier's like standing there or whatever. Watch this shit. He's like, okay, thanks. And his dad's trying to pull away. <laughs> he's like rubbing his face like a on. dog trying to rub his scent on the yeah. couch but it's, it's, it's the whole thing of like it's the whole thing of like it's it's whenever like people um like if you say if if you say a joke that's very offensive yeah. at a place where you're very high and you're just like well it's just a joke but it's like you have to put yourself in a place of like you do have like some kind of power. You have to have like the responsibility to sure. realize what is right and wrong. Yeah, and like yeah. though things are inevitable, you have to be, you have to like be the leading voice of being like vocal about things or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Which I don't I don't even know what the fuck I'm getting at. I'm just saying like death to all streamers. No, I don't know. <laughs>